Jane Pell is more determined than most to take her out to water. Water is often represented as um, a symbol of the subconscious or uh, the imagination. There is a fine line between what's real and, and what is kind of quite fantastical when you're submerged. She's planning to submerge herself for two months with herself at work on display in an underwater opera. I'm calling it opera very loosely, but it's not a ballet, it's not synchronised swimming, it's something else. I've got um, some aquanauts who are going to actually perform underwater with me and play instruments. It's called Blue Angels, an opera of aquanauts. Eight hours a day, six days a week of performance to an audience that comes and goes. It'll be a series of performance works. Each section will be four days long. So if you like, it's a series of acts and scenes that are played out over that time. So it's 288 hours performance time. Sarah Jane Pell began as a visual artist, gradually moving more towards performance. She's no stranger to bubbles, performing in this one in a Perth railway workshop earlier this year. But the underwater project has moved her into a strenuous testing regime. I've been training in a number of disciplines in order to undertake this work, and aerial bungee is one of them. Um, I've been studying Feldenkrais and Pilates, some dance-based um, and movement-based um, philosophies and techniques. Beyond the artistic challenge, the physical strain of working eight hours a day underwater, six days a week, will be immense. The original design of these wings is based on a Leonardo da Vinci sketch and they work and they work so I can really play up the idea of um, neutral buoyancy and really uh, in quite a theatrical way explain what it is like to feel that freedom to fly underwater.